The study method is divided into four steps. First is the decomposition. Neighborhood parameters are extracted and correlated. Second is formulation, which determines the technique of building the model. Third is the modeling, which includes the scripting process and the implementation of the model. Finally is the evaluation. It contains computing the connectivity, which helps designers to evaluate the generated neighborhood and applying the model in the real context to validate it. Description of the model. Phase 1. It contains importing and analyzing the site map. The output of this phase is the modification of the map, automatic detection for the gateways, and extracting the main streets. Map from OpenStreetMap site can be easily inserted and analyzed. After analyzing the map, is phase 2. The study also proposes nine predefined functions for neighborhood parameters. These functions are used to build the main model. The user has the ability of manual inserting of the gateways and controlling the neighborhood area. One of the important parameters in the neighborhood is neighborhood center. Its area and location can be also controlled. Building heights and depths can be also determined. Users can also change the floor area ratio. The study also proposes a switcher, which enables easy accessing to the parameters. The switcher is scribed with Python. Here is some examples of generated neighborhoods with different parameters and attracted geometries. Drawing the polyline of the connector which cuts the clusters. Here also, the ability of controlling and changing the base pattern types, size of clusters, and number of sectors, which enable assigning different building types. The user can draw the curve of attraction or insert a point of attraction. There is also the ability to insert two connectors with different attraction effect. The users can extract the neighborhood and intersect the connectors. The evaluation process is divided into two stages. First one is computing the connectivity. This algorithm helps urban designers automatically evaluate their generated neighborhood. Second one is model validation. The criteria of nominative site should be located in Egypt. The scale should be between neighborhood scale and district. It should be surrounded by streets from all directions without being in a slum. The process includes analyzing the site by extracting the four different parameters, Inserting the fixed parameters to the model as inputs. Generating different variation. And finally, discuss the result. Here's the framework of the study to generate dynamic neighborhood. In the framework, begin with extracting neighborhood parameters and choosing the parameter techniques. Then, the modeling process with its two phases and process includes the predefined functions. Each process includes inputs, outputs, and parameters. Then, the implementation of the model. Finally, evaluation and validation of the model.